What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about silver and whether or not I think it's worth converting your dollars into silver, not just at this specific point in time, but generally speaking. But really quick, just in case you're new, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so join the party. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. I'm also doing a back to school giveaway over there in case you have kids or a grandkid that needs some back to school supplies. And of course, if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And the brand new Kraken Stacking t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated, but I want to get right into it. I want to talk about whether or not I think it's worth converting your paper fiat glorified IOU dollars into silver coins, rounds, and or bars. Now, it might be sounding like I'm about to say something very, very biased because this is, after all, a silver stacking channel, but truth be told, the answer is not yes, but it's not no, it's yes and no, depending on what your intentions are. Now, I'm gonna start out with the no. I do not think it's worth it for you to convert your dollars into silver if you are someone with that short-term mentality. Now, silver is very, 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 very different from the stock market, but I think it should be, in a way, looked at similar to the way somebody would look at the stock market. If you're getting involved in stocks or if you're getting involved in silver, it, in my opinion, I think it's gotta be for the long term. I think if you have that short term mentality, if you care about what silver is doing today, tomorrow, the next day and next week, rather than what you're planning or hoping that silver does 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, I think it's probably a flawed way of thinking if you're in silver for the short term or if you're expecting silver to skyrocket as soon as you get your hands on silver and then you can cash out or profit or make gains or, or whatever the case may be, I do not think that is the right way of thinking. I do not think that's what silver should be looked at as. I don't think that's how silver should be used and I don't think it would work out that way. Maybe somebody could get lucky if they just happen to get lucky, but generally speaking, that's not really what's going to happen. Silver, the volatility of silver, is it's just so sporadic. It has its ups, it has its downs, and if you say to yourself that you're picking up silver at X amount of dollars and at X amount of dollars you plan on cashing out, let's just say that X amount of dollars is $35 an ounce and it hits $35 an ounce, by the time you get in your car and take your silver over to the coin shop, spot price could be back down to $31. It goes up and down and it's very, very incredibly sporadic. So I do not think silver should be looked at as something to do for the short term. I think silver is something for the long term. I consider silver to be essentially a physical at home savings account except the bank is not involved. I don't believe in going bankless. I do believe that a checking account is necessary for a lot of different things, whether it be paying the bills online or online purchases or, or paying off credit cards or, or whatever it is that you're doing, anything online shopping or any type of electronic transactions. Yes, a checking account is not only a good idea, I think it's kind of required, especially in this day and age. A savings account at the bank no, thank you. That's what my silver is for. The silver that you see right here in front of me, this is just some of the silver. We have some five ounce bars. We got the 10 ounce bars. We got a couple of different rounds right here. We have one that kind of resembles the silver eagle, but that is a round, not a coin. We have this one that says money, the root of all good. Couldn't agree more. One world trade unit with the scales of justice. We got the Liberty Bell. We got the ship, we got a Christmas round, and we got a Hurricane Irma relief fund round right here. And then on top, we have the Canadian Creatures of the North series, Silver Kraken. So some coins, some rounds, some bars. And I consider this to be somewhat of a savings account. Not exactly, but that's essentially what it is. It's something that I'm doing for the long term, and I hope and plan for my silver, and of course my gold, to help supplement my retirement a couple of decades down the road. So moving away from why silver might not be worth converting your dollars into, I want to talk about why silver could potentially absolutely be 
worth converting your dollars into. If you're doing it the way I'm doing it, if you're doing it a similar way that I'm doing it, or it could be a very different way from the way I'm doing it, but if you're in it for the long term, I think that's probably the mentality that people need to have. So the overwhelming majority of people that I've come in contact with over the last two and a half years of stacking and, and documenting the stacking journey on my YouTube channel, uh, the overwhelming majority of people that I've talked to about silver, they have that long-term mentality. If silver goes up or down today, sure, it's newsworthy. Sure, it's exciting to talk about. Sure, it gets everybody talking. It gets everybody interested. And it's it's fun to see silver do its ups and downs in the short term. But do those ups and downs in the short term really mean anything at all? Is that really anything that's relevant a couple of decades into the future? No, absolutely not. So sure, it's fun. It's fun to see. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to experience. It's almost like a roller coaster ride. It's it's fun to experience the ups and downs of silver. The volatility, like I said, it's just so sporadic. But long-term mentality speaking, from the perspective of someone like me or probably someone like you who's in it for the long run, who's in it for years and years and years, maybe you've already been in for a couple of years or a couple of decades and you plan on being in for several more years or several more decades, whatever it is that you're doing, I think silver is probably best for those with that long-term mentality. And in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, so don't take this as financial advice, I absolutely think it's worth converting your dollars into. The reason I say that is because the dollar bill, every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year of every decade, this stuff is losing purchasing power. It's becoming weaker and weaker. They are printing more and more and more of these and they're essentially coming out of thin air. Silver, on the other hand, it holds its value and it's unique unlike the dollar bill, because the dollar bill, what's funny about these things is, let me get rid of the 20. The five and the 50, the 50 is worth 10 times more than the five, and the five is worth you know one tenth as much as the 50. But why is that? If you close your eyes and shuffle these up, put them behind your back, and say, let me take the 50 without looking, there's no way of knowing, there's no way of telling. How is it worth 10 times more if it's the exact same size, the exact same weight, the exact same everything? The only difference is the number that they decided to print on it. So it never really made sense to me. Silver, on the other hand, this 10 ounce silver bar is worth 10 times more than this one ounce silver round because it is in fact 10 times more. It's worth 10 times more because it is 10 times more. It weighs 10 times more. It's 10 times bigger. It's 10 times more valuable. And that makes a whole lot more sense to me. Not to mention this stuff acts as a hedge against inflation. Cause like I said, silver and gold, precious metals, they hold their value. And oftentimes they go up in value. The dollar bill on the other hand, it goes down in value. So am I gonna sit here and say that the dollar bill is going to collapse entirely? No, not necessarily. It's always a possibility, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that the dollar bill is for sure going to collapse because by definition, that would be to just completely fall on its face and it would wreak havoc and mayhem and it would be absolute insanity. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be more of a slow, subtle fizzling out of the dollar bill. I do not think it's going to be an overnight thing. In fact, I think the process has already been started years and years and years and years ago. The dollar bill, it's almost like they're slowly doing away with it. Silver and gold has always been here. Silver and gold has been here for thousands of years, thousands of years longer than the dollar bill has been here. And silver and also gold, it's always been considered money. It's always been viewed as money. It's constitutionally viewed as money. It's internationally viewed as money. It's biblically viewed as money, silver and gold. They've been here for thousands and thousands of years. And they've been used as monetary metals for thousands of years. The dollar bill is a man-made invention. So what I like to do, and I'm not recommending that anybody does what I do, I'm just documenting my journey. This is just for me personally. But what I like to do after I'm done trading my time for dollars 
and paying the bills and buying the food and gassing up the car and doing everything that I need to do with my dollars, these pieces of paper, this fiat, this currency that's left over, I like to take a solid portion of the remaining dollar bills and convert them into silver and gold. I mean, the spot price as I'm recording the video is 26, maybe $27, but just a couple days ago, it was about 25 bucks. So these right here would be worth one of these little one ounce silver rounds. This is a two ounce coin, so ignore that, but anything underneath, one troy ounce. Now I know with the premiums, it would run you more than $25, and with the spot price being higher than $25, it would absolutely be more than $25, but the point I'm trying to make is that I like to convert some of these pieces of paper into silver. It's a conversion. I don't really see it as buying silver. I've never considered it to be buying silver. I don't see it as a purchase. I don't see it as a sale. I see it as a conversion. I'm converting one into the other, and the good news about silver is that it's liquid. It's not like buying something else and then you have to worry about selling it. No, silver is liquid. It's just as liquid as the cash. And if you needed cash, what would one normally do? They would go to the bank, visit the ATM, and withdraw some cash. The same exact amount of time could be spent taking some silver to a coin shop and trading the coins, the rounds or the bars, into cash. The coin shop is essentially an ATM. That's the only real difference, as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, this is just my opinion. This is all just from my perspective. I thought it would be interesting to share both sides of the spectrum, because that's what I like to do on this channel. I like to think as objectively as possible. I try to be as logical as possible. I try to play devil's advocate and I try to look at it from as many different perspectives as possible. So with that being said, I'm curious. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all for entertainment purposes, but it's also to initiate a conversation, so I'm hoping that something that I said in today's video can spark a little bit of a discussion. But now, moving away from that, I wanted to talk about one more thing, because coins, rather than rounds and rather than bars, coins have actual face value. So they have different types of value. They have market value. So right now, according to the spot price of silver, this would be worth about 26, 27, maybe $28 by the time I'm editing and posting this video. It's worth 20 something dollars according to the spot price. So market value, there you go. But the premium adds even more value to it because these are I don't necessarily want to say collectible or high in demand, but the U.S. Mint, as of just a week or two ago, they have greatly reduced production. So there are less silver eagles being minted right now. Not to mention there's a shortage of silver being mined at the moment because of everything going on in the world. So a lot of people, not just Americans, people all over the globe are trying to get their hands on American silver eagles. And there's not as many going around as should be. So supply and demand, the premium, adds an extra couple of dollars. And on a lot of different sites, it adds five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars on top of the spot price. A lot of these are going for about 40 bucks. And like I said, according to the spot price, it's only worth you know 26, 27, 28 dollars. So there's a couple different types of value, just like face value, right here at the bottom, $1. You think this thing is worth $1? At the store it would be. At a coin shop, absolutely not. To somebody who wants to take the silver off your hands in exchange for currency, it's worth way more than $1. So that's what I find interesting about the silver and the gold, because the rounds, the bars, Yes, I do consider them to be monetary metals because they are monetary metals, but they're used for so many different things and there's so many different ways of looking at them. And I think the main way that they should be looked at is with long-term vision. If you plan on hopping on silver as an opportunist looking to get rich quick, 
you can do whatever you want because I am in no position to give you financial advice. All I can say is that I think you will be greatly disappointed. I don't think silver is something that should be used as a tool to get rich quick. I don't think that's the way silver should be viewed. That's just my opinion. That's just my perspective. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me on that, if you disagree with me on that. And also, what are your thoughts on gold? Because gold, right now, just recently, just a couple weeks back, reached a brand new all-time high. So silver, I do consider to be the opportunity metal. I think it has plenty more room to grow and perform over time. I mean, it's only about halfway to its all-time high. So silver has already been twice as much fiat as it is today. Granted, the fiat is a lot weaker, so there's a lot of back and forth, there's a lot of black and white, there's a lot of this and that involved. But I'm just speculating over here. This is just my opinion, just from my perspective. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you consider silver to be worth converting your dollars into? Maybe you don't agree with silver, but you agree with gold. So I guess maybe your answer would be no. Maybe you think that silver is something that should be looked at from a short-term mentality. Maybe you don't care about the volatility of silver and maybe you think it's gonna be going straight up in the air. Or maybe you align with my way of thinking and that you use silver as a way to save money for the long term, to protect your wealth for the long term and use it as a tool, as a hedge against inflation. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers and we just hit 1,000, I appreciate that. By the way, don't forget, back to school giveaway going on over there. So if you have kids or grandkids or cousins or nieces, nephews, younger siblings, and you wanna help them get some school supplies, go check out that video. And of course, if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on silver? Do you consider it worth converting your dollars into? Maybe yes, for the same reasons that I consider it being worth converting my own dollars into. Maybe it's for a different reason. Maybe you are flipping silver. Maybe you are buying in on the dips. And then if it goes up a couple of bucks, you part ways with it. Maybe you are expecting silver to be somewhat of a get rich quick. Like I said before, I think you would be incredibly disappointed if you're viewing it that way, but to each their own. Maybe you don't agree with silver, but you agree with gold. Maybe silver's not the metal for you. Maybe you don't believe in diversification or maybe the volatility is just a little bit too much for you and you think gold is a smarter move. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.